Hi, everybody. Um, this is a remake of uh, a video I did right at the beginning when I started YouTube. Just watch along with me, and I put music in it, so I'm going to talk over it. And this is very, very easy. This is the very first rocking horse I ever made, and I've been making him for 45 years. And very easy to make, and I have sold thousands of these. And people love these with the name on the bottom on the rocker, and then you put the year on the saddle. And of course, you can make him in different colors, any colors you want. So just kind of follow along with me. Um, very, very easy to do. And we're going to start with the body. Oh, I think I've got the hiccups. I'm sorry. So I'm not having the greatest day. I uh, I was going to get this out much earlier, but I uh, I went to go somewhere in my car, and apparently somebody hit the front of my car and pushed the bumper all the way back onto my tire, and I can't drive the car. I don't know who did it, but it was somebody living in this house. I have an idea who did it because he's already hit two other cars. But I'm not going to say anything because I don't have proof. But anyway, let's go on and make the legs. My younger brother is coming from the one that lives at my house. He's coming to fix it for me, so I'll be okay. And it's chilly here today, so. I'm doing the voiceover. It is November 20th, 2020. And the video was actually made in 2017. It was one of the first videos I made. Now here, if you see this, I made that head way too big. And like I always say, you can always fix things using polymer clay. Just take it off and make it smaller. This, this was filmed with my very old camera, not my new one. Now, of course, the candy cane rope, you know how to make that. You roll a rope, a red rope and a white rope, put them together and twist. Very easy to do. I'm going to put it there. And of course, you can make that any colors you want. You don't have to stick with the colors I'm using. Although for the rocker at the bottom, you probably want to make it white because then you can write the name on there. It'll look better. I'm going to add the saddle. Hope you're all doing well out there with this pandemic getting worse. I don't go anywhere except to pick up my brother at dialysis and maybe a little bit of grocery shopping and maybe up to my house, which I haven't been able to do because he's in such bad shape at the moment that he has to have somebody here at all times. And that somebody would be me. But uh, what I worry about is my son up in Providence, Rhode Island, with all those college kids and everything. But he says he's okay, and uh, he works at Brown University, as you probably know, and he says they test him twice a week. And he's in the lab all the time, so he doesn't really, he doesn't interact with students, so I shouldn't worry too much about him. But, you know, I'm a mother, and he's my only child, so, of course, I will worry. I'm 
I'm not really telling you too much here because it's, you know, you can watch it. It's pretty obvious what you need to do. It's so easy. And this is so fast. And when, if you want to make these to sell and you use my production method, which I have a video on, um, these go so quick. You could probably make 10 or 15 of these in an hour easily if you do the production method. And there's not too much to uh, paint on these. Just the eyes. I think maybe a few dots on the green on the saddle. That's it. Now, you can use the garlic press to make the mane and the tail. But I have to tell you, this is a much quicker way to do it. Using the garlic press really takes longer. And of course, we have to do our holly and berries. And if you want to do a test, make some without the holly and berries and see which ones sell. It's always these. People like detail, and it only takes a few seconds to add those on. And it makes a big, big difference in how the ornament looks. Now you see what it says? Add the hook and blush. Add the blush. Don't forget it. I know you're probably tired of hearing me say that, but it makes you would not believe the big difference it makes having that blush on that face. It just makes it look so much better. And if you bake it, it's very, very difficult to get that blush on after baking. Now you can paint the mouth on, but I decided to use the needle tool. I like it better. Make a little nose. And then I always paint the eyes on. Not always, but for this one, I always paint the eyes on. And that's it. And you put it in the oven and you bake it according to the instructions on your package of clay. And He's ready to go. And I will see you next time, which I don't know what we're going to do next time, but I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.